Hello, I'm going to try to explain in a short video how to manage the server, RTPMT server, and our uh, conf uh, browser, browser control panel. When you order, you receive an email with a uh, uh, browser.control.com and your email and the password. After you log in, first page of the control panel there is a status if it is online or offline you need to restart in this case if it is offline and then the overview the configuration it's better not to play with it and not to to change anything there it's for advanced users it can break your system then the restart button and the stop First thing you have to go to overview, so you can see your um, your um, your dashboard. This is the main thing. So there is a live uh, stream connection on the on the right with the FMS uh, order and the, the stream name, username and password. Password. This is a TV station, and this TV station is different from on demand and the live stream system in the sense that it does both. It is an hybrid, so you upload your videos, but you can interrupt and go live streaming, broadcast live directly using an encoder or, for example, GoCoder, which is for smartphones, and it uh, is available for uh, for um, Apple Store, Applica app, and um, Google Google Play. You will upload you you can deploy it on your on your um, smartphone. So and uh, go live, interrupting the playlist, interrupting your video stream. Then there is uh, the, the code for a player which you select and you paste this. Uh, you select the, the player you want, and um, you copy the code, apply, copy the code, and uh, paste it on your website. The first thing you have to do is to upload files. Your video files they must be in mp4 format and um, there are two options by file manager over here in this window you 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 take your uh, your uh, folder of videos and you drag them to the to the file manager window and you or there's another option there by ftp system you can upload your video files attention i repeat the, MP, the files, the video files, must be in MP4. If not, the, the server will refuse to accept the files. After you have some video files, and you must be sure also to use the correct encoder, the, the bitrate that you bought on your package, depending on your package. And um, after you upload some videos, then you have to create the playlists. You should make at least two. Uh, a new playlist you created, you click on it. Um, choose a name and uh, the start time because the playlist day it is um, it is on schedule. You you choose the time to start and the time to stop. That's why you should have two three playlists. And then over here you t you after you save the um, the playlist you you add the video files. Attention, the video file must be encoded. I said it must be encoded depending on the on your package. If not, the file cannot move to the right. Depending on your package, you have your um, your bitrate. Yes. So this is a demo account, and uh, it has a it should be five connections and bitrate up to six hundred and forty kilobits per second. The video files must be encoded, and or the the live stream must be about uh, in this uh, bitrate. If it exceeds, it will not work. So, for example, the first file of the year 640, it is 871 kilobits. It exceeds bitrate. So, you cannot move it. It is not allowed. It will not be allowed to save it on the playlist. You see, nothing happens. But if you take sample, which is 524, it, it, it is easy. To, you just move it there to the right. And you can then save the playlist 
and it needs to restart to apply the changes. So you go back to your server, to your servers, and uh, you click there is going to be a line there, or you can click the button restart. After it uh, restart, your uh, now your uh, system is working. It should be working. It will start the at the time you specified. You select the, the video, the player you want. You copy it and you paste it on your website, and that's it.